Gateway 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulin with 31 Triple Doppler. So me and my dad always do this thing where we joke about like what would we do if the zombie apocalypse happened and one thing we <laughs> always agree on is that if we couldn't take a shower within like two days we'd be over it so I don't know where that kid is. Yeah, I kind of like to be clean. I like to be clean. Same. I would miss the water. Say, my husband keeps asking me if I'm going to go hunting with him. I'm like, honey, no. No. No, no, no. you ain't going to find me uh, up there I'm with no shower. I'm not a camper or a... <laughs> no, I need to, I need to, well, I need to shower. <laughs> Well, we've got some natural showers in the forecast. We do, yeah, <laughs> coming in tomorrow night. So let's go ahead and dive into that forecast and show you what you can expect as we head towards the weekend. Right now, if you're headed out to grab lunch on this Thursday, you can expect some cloud cover because that's exactly what we're seeing across the Tennessee Valley on our Way 31 SkyCam network. And it's very breezy as well. So any outdoor activities you may have planned today, not only are you going to need a coat, but you need to make sure that you hold on to your hat as well. 38 degrees right now. Now in Huntsville, it's 35 in Athens and 38 down in Decatur, 36 over in Gunnersville for the time being. Temperatures will warm up as we head into the next few hours. Winds, though, will stay breezy for the rest of the day today. So again, anything you have planned to do outdoors today, hold on to that hat because it's going to get a little windy. Our temperatures for today will climb into the 40s for those afternoon highs, and we will warm up as we head towards the weekend. It feels like we've been in the 40s for what seems like forever now. Now 31 triple Doppler is quiet and dry. That's how we'll stay for the rest of the day today, although we will have to deal with the cloud cover. You're not going to need that rain jacket. We'll stay dry for most of the day tomorrow before the rain moves in tomorrow evening. Here's what we have going on across the eastern half of the United States. Cloud cover continues to move in across the Tennessee Valley, and that's what's keeping our temperatures in the 30s for the time being. So here's what we're looking at for the rest of the day today. We'll get a little sunshine before the sun sets this evening, and we'll start the night off clear. But as we head into the overnight hours, we'll start to see those clouds move in that's setting the stage for our next system that will move in late in the day on your Friday. Cloud cover will stick around tomorrow, so once we see the sunshine, make sure to take full advantage of it. I want to stop this at 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon because I want to expand the view to show you what we have going on tomorrow evening. A lot of rain is on the way to the Tennessee Valley by 10 p.m. tomorrow night. It is great sleeping weather. Now the chance of strong to severe thunderstorms will stay to our south with this system, so you don't have to worry about that. And don't really have to worry about even here in Rumbles of Thunder. Just some really good rainfall as we head into tomorrow night, and it's out of here as we move into Saturday. Over the next seven days here, two to three inches of rain is expected in Sand Mountain. For the rest of us, one to two inches, because that's not our only system. There's that system that moves in early on Saturday, moving out we get a couple of dry days ahead of us, and then by Monday, we're tracking our next system that's going to bring heavy rain once again to the Tennessee Valley. A few storms possible, but we're not expecting severe weather. It will be very windy, though. That chance of severe weather will stay to our south as we move into the day on Monday and then again on Tuesday as well. So your 10 day forecast is just all over the place. Rain moves in late in the day on Friday. Very windy conditions to kick off next week and overall our temperatures stay in the 50s. We do have a couple of days where we dip down into those 40s, but that's expected. It is winter time and it is raining, so it's going to get chilly. It is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this right. feels. Thank you, Amber. <laughs>